Well, for Montreal filmmaker Kelly Nabertin, Manic was more than just a film project. It was a journey of self-discovery. She set out to learn more about her mysterious father, who had been called everything from a cult leader to a prophet. His mission was to bring together a group of people. He said, I'm building this temple. He called it a temple. I looked him in the eye and I said, is he Jesus? While on this journey, Kelly now also discovers more about the mental illness that runs in her family. Manic is screening this weekend at Hot Docs International Documentary Festival in Toronto, and she joins us now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. This is a revealing, a raw documentary. It's a deeply personal story about your family, about your life. Tell me, take me back to the beginning. Why did you want... Why did you want to go on this journey? Why did you want to make this movie? Well, when I was about 15, I was looking for answers uh, regarding my father. And I uh, remember looking through my mother's documents, and I found these newspaper articles that described uh, my father as a cult leader. So that's when, really, I, I realized that I knew almost nothing about my father and that there was these uh, deep, um, disturbing uh, family secrets. What, what, so what did you know about him before you opened those documents? So I grew up with my father about until I was four years old. He was quite present. Uh, present at that time, uh, had a very intense uh, presence, uh, taught me very, uh, you know, in, in, in interesting lessons, taught me how to swim, taught me how to climb trees, but... Um, then he just disappeared. And then at some point, he, well, what happened is my mother kind of took us and uh, brought us back to Montreal because I grew up on a very small, isolated Caribbean island. And then we kind of started a new life. And um, so my father remained a mysterious character that I longed to know more about. And uh, my mother kind of didn't want to talk about my father, just wanted to l let it rest in the past. And, and so in making this movie, did you bring them along on the ride? Did, did they learn as well as you did? Oh, absolutely. It was a discovery process. Yeah. Yeah, very long discovery process. And what happened actually is um, I decided to go to film school because I wanted to make this film to, to capture my journey of, to understand my father. And when I graduated in 2013, my sister experienced her first psychotic episode and was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Well, that, see, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. Mental, health, uh, mental health is a big, big theme in this documentary. Yeah. And two of your siblings... I uh, have uh, bipolar disorder, don't they? Exactly, exactly. So my sister was diagnosed, and then my brother had been struggling with uh, bipolar disorder for about seven years, uh, but his state was really deteriorating. And so um, based on the little that I knew about my father, hearing about his cult and him thinking that he was on a divine mission, I was like, does this mental illness lead back to our father? Maybe he holds a key piece to the puzzle of understanding this legacy of mental illness in the family. Well, we have a clip of your brother right now, so why don't we take a look? I'm a bit concerned about you. Are you going to be okay? I won't kill anyone. I'll take my meds. I'll smoke a little pot just just to get by not every day. I mean these are these are very vulnerable moments. Uh, talk to me about the, the discussions that you had with family members to, to convince them to be part of this journey with you. Absolutely. Well, like me, they wanted to know more about my father, and they understood um, that there could be connections between our father's storyline and their own. And so I, was, I sat down with them, and I was just very clear on what my intentions were. And I, I asked, do you guys want to come on this journey with me? And can I film you guys in these very you know, intense moments? And you might not want the camera to be running all the time, but trust me, and at the end, we'll sit down together, and if there's Anything you want me to pull out, I'll pull it out. Oh, yeah. good. So I got their blessing, yes. ultimately. The film that there we're was showing, a safety net there. Absolutely, and they trusted me. I mean, there are some moments when, in the film, my brother's like, stop filming, and I continued because I knew that it was important, and I knew he'd understand that we needed this in the film mm -hmm. for people to really understand the both sides of his struggles. Well, your father's life story is really quite fascinating, and it ends in a very violent way, and you, I'm not giving anything away, but you interview the woman responsible for that. Yeah. Why did you want to talk to her, and what did it mean to you when you, when you sat down with her? Well, it was uh, probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my entire life, but I really wanted to understand her own journey, why she had followed my father for all these years, and why it ended in such a, tra a traumatic manner. And I wanted to find her humanity. Just like I tried to find my father's humanity, I wanted to find her, her humanity. While you're conducting these interviews, and in a lot of cases you're behind the camera, did you find yourself being affected by the information that was coming to you through that lens? Because to me, that seems like a very, very unique experience to have that filter, but also be deeply impacted. 
Oh, absolutely. There were moments that I was uh, just crying behind the camera because I was uh, the, the, the DOP. So I'm here, I'm filming, and I'm taking sound. And, and as the other person is connecting with me, I mean, there were tears, and sometimes they were crying. So it was very, very intense and hard to do technically. But ultimately, I think I was the only one that could be behind the camera to have those in intimate moments. Uh, to screen a film like this at the Hot Docs Festival, um, you know, you learned a lot by making this movie, but what are you hoping the audience learns from the film? Well, I mean, I really, really need to talk more about mental illness because as I was talking about the film, I realized how many everybody knows a loved one near or far who struggles with mental illness, um, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. And so, and we were, um, with my family, struggling, uh, thinking that we were alone. So I think we, these stories need to come together and we need to talk about them to try to find better ways to help these people struggling with mental illness. Katie, now congratulations on the film. Thank you for sharing your story here this morning. Thank you so much. And uh, the film will premiere at Hot Dogs this weekend. For more information about it, you can have a link on our website, yourmorning.ca.